society. And finding ways to resist and overcome this repression. Exploring the mechanisms of corporate repression in Western society. The corporate capitalist institution tends to see workers' wages as a cost and wage growth is repressed even in boom times. An anti-union ideology persists in this system in which unions are seen as a problem or even a threat to the corporate system. Wage growth halts and there is little pressure from employees to increase their wage because the majority are UN unionized. And have little pressure on the bosses to increase their wage. The corporate hierarchy is structured in a way that is tyrannical, a top-down system where workers dare not move out of line. The directors issues orders down the pyramid structure to managers who implement their directors' wishes. Public issues are ignored in the drive to maximize profits. The corporations have a command and control system which has internal markets internal to corporation. This is not free trade. Costs are seen as an externality and the public are used to pay for this. Whilst profits are privatized. When the unions get out of hand in the eyes of the corporations the corporation are closely linked to the state, sometimes. The state organizes its repressive structures to break strikes. Strike breaking is seen as a good thing and the unions as the enemy. Outsourcing is used to maximize profits, exploiting the third world is part of globalization and the petty producers in the third world are used and jobs are outsourced, using cheap labor with few workers' rights abroad. Ways to resist and overcome this repression Form unions and collectives to resist the repression of wages, create public awareness of the plight of workers in Western society and promote unions. Find ways of communicating outside the mainstream media where the corporate ideology persists. Education is vital to have a progressive society where corporations can be resisted and overcome. Written by Michael R. Ayton.